please subscribe. Thank you. The spitting spider is harmless to humans. However, to insects and other spiders, it's quite deadly. The spitting spider is one of my favorite spiders. You may find them inside your house occasionally, but more than likely you'll find them outside of your home, around your windows, screens, around the soffit underneath the eaves of your home. These spiders generally hide in corners by day. They come out at night to hunt. They hunt either by ambushing prey or stalking it. Spitting spiders do not build organized webs, and they don't really grab prey by force. They subdue their victims from a distance. Spitting spiders either hang out near a den waiting for victims to get close enough, or they stalk along very slowly while hunting. When a spitting spider approaches a possible meal, it taps one of its long front legs between it and the prey in order to gauge the distance. It moves slowly to within range, about 10 to 20 millimeters, and then spits a sticky mess which acts as a sort of net. With the initial strike, two strands of spider silk are sprayed in a zigzag pattern over a victim, which immediately immobilizes it. The silk strands are shot from the spider's fangs and are venomous. The strike is lightning fast, 1.4 milliseconds. Notice in these photos, a spitting spider has subdued a roach. It's a little hard to see, but the venomous silk netting is visible. The roach is trapped. The sprayed goop subdues the victim. Then, the spitting spider will use its long legs to wrap silk around the prey, and then bite the victim and inject digestive agents, which will liquefy the insides. Then, it's dinner time. Mmm. Here is a spitting spider eating a pale green assassin bug. She's quite large, as was the assassin bug. Take a look at her abdomen. It's turning green as she's consuming the assassin bug. Of the 221 species in the genus Cytodes, nine occur in the United States. I am fairly sure all the spiders in this video are Cytodes at Lacoya. Spitting spiders can grow to about three eighths of an inch in body length. However, their long legs can make them appear larger. Females are slightly larger than males. Spitting spiders are brownish in color overall. However, their bodies are somewhat translucent. They have dark speckles on the legs and dark patches on their bodies. They have six eyes arranged in three pairs along the cephalothorax. Spitting spiders eat a variety of insects and even other spiders. Insects such as moths, cockroaches, crickets, true bugs, etc. are all on the menu. Spitting spiders inhabit woods and fields under leaf litter and rocks, but are also found in cellars, closets, and around the outsides of homes. I often see them in my garage and under the soffit around the outside of my house. They tend to stay hidden during the day, then emerge at night to ambush or stalk prey. However, if hungry enough, they will also hunt during the day. In the United States, the spitting spider is most common in the southern half of the country. When it's time, a female spitting spider will create an egg sac, which she will carry with her until the spiderlings are ready to emerge. At first, the egg sac is white, but over time it will darken as the spiderlings grow and then hatch within the sac. In this photo, you can see the legs of the tiny spiderlings inside the egg sac. Before the babies emerge, the mother will create a haphazard clump of webbing, which will help protect the hatched spiderlings from predators. The spiderlings will hunt amongst the webbing, but will also venture out to capture prey. If you enjoyed this video, consider clicking on the like button, and please subscribe. Thank you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click subscribe and make it feel good.